Welcome to VPG's world. What's good? What's goody? I ain't did this in a while. Y'all, I got some Mr. Heroes. I'm about to give me a thumbnail. Get it popping off with the thumbnail. I thought I was getting a thumbnail. That's what I thought I was doing. And it looked like my camera shut off or something. I don't know. But we about to get it popping. Hey. Yes, I could I could actually show the sandwich, but Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby. This is where the original waffle fry came from. But before I get to eating, because I already took a bite of my sandwich because I'm starving, we got to show love to the VP squad. What's good? What's goody? I love y'all. Y'all already know. I thank y'all for supporting me and loving on me and doing all the things and things and all and you know what I mean? Now that I got members, I love y'all. Um, y'all know I do lives every day. Um, that's my thing now. I'm doing more lives and I'm doing videos. But I do want to let y'all know that long, long videos is what got me monetized. Period. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not get that twisted. But um, I love y'all. And if you are not part of the VP squad, there's only a couple things you got to do to get, be part of it. First thing you got to do is subscribe to the channel. And that's easy, subscribe. I need you to like the videos. Press that like button. After you like, I would like you to comment, please. Um, if you don't have anything to say, we like peaches, of course, because I'm peachy. Um, and orange hearts. We do do those over here. And after you subscribe, like, and comment, then we ask you to share me out. Share me out to your friends. Share me out to your family. Share me out on all your social media networks. Um, share, as I always say, share me out to your mommy, your papi, your sister, your brother, your significant other. Then, boom! You're part of the VP squad. You feel me? Period. All right. So, I'm getting ready to log into work because that's where I'll be going shortly. Oops. Yeah. That's where I'll be going shortly. Um, and today, what I want to talk about in this, in this video, I was going to say, in this live, ooh, that girl just addicted to lies. I knew you was lying. I knew you was lying, man. But um, to show you all my food, I got that cheese steak with extra meat and extra cheese. We got, we got cheese sauce. For the waffle fry. And y'all know I'm, I always drink this hot, this cheese hot. <laughs> y'all know I always drink water, but I actually got me because I got a combo. I got me a um wild cherry Pepsi. It's a little different for me, but well, let's see. I mean, not that I ain't never had wild cherry Pepsi before, but I definitely don't drink wild cherry Pepsi often. So. Shout out to all the Pepsi drinkers, to all the wild cherry Pepsi drinkers. It definitely is it's a good. It's strong, but it's good. And order your tumblers. Get your name on your tumbler. Of course, it'll have VPG's World. These are $11.99 plus tax, and they can be shipped anywhere in the world, not just the United States. 
All right. So today, I want to talk about growth on your channel. Right? And because I have some notes that I wrote and the first thing I want to say to the people that that are thinking about starting a channel and that have not started the channel this is everything the lights on parked up outside in the old school is go for it you don't need an expensive phone you don't need a thousand dollar iPhone. You don't need a thousand dollar Samsung phone. You don't need um, <clears throat> no no type of fancy, smancy nothing to start your channel. All you need is some personality, a voice, and something to record on. You don't even need a phone. You can do it on a laptop. You can do it on a, a tablet. You can do it on anything. Just do it. Period. Period. Just do it. Stop waiting. Stop thinking about it. Stop going through the motions. Stop planning it out. Stop doing all these things because the more you do all of that stuff, the more you go, you talking yourself out of doing it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Period. That's all it is to it. So I got some notes that I have wrote. A couple of things that I want to talk about that I've seen a lot um, and yeah okay so the first thing I want to say is once you do start your channel or if you have a channel what you need to do and I know y'all hear this a million times but it's very important is be Son, you know, once you start, there's no going back. I know. This means total commitment. Once you begin the path, there is no leaving the path. Are you sure you're ready for that? Be consistent. C consistent does not mean every day. I think the biggest thing that a lot of us was told when we was new was you have to post every day. And if y'all see any of like the newer, um, okay, my fault. If y'all see any of like VidIQ or any of those channels that help people grow, they tell you that that's one of the biggest mistakes that they were telling people about, excuse me, about posting every day. Posting every day is not. I really um I don't want to say it's not wise, but I would say it, at least in your first year and your first six months, or especially I would say if you if you posted like super duper long videos and stuff like that, maybe if you posting shorter videos under 10 minutes, maybe post it every day is wise because you need to build up your watch time and stuff like that. But if you're posting longer videos, posting every day is not wise. Um, I'm going to try to find the videos like VidIQ and some of those other um, channels that talks more about that. So be consistent, but posting every day is not necessary. Period. Um... But yeah, be consistent. Like, for instance, I have a new channel with Coco's content, right? 
Our new channel is called Millennial Mukbangers. You'll see that down in the description. Please subscribe if you haven't. We only post once a week. Only on Sundays. We are a team. Every decision we make for that channel, we make together. Right? To the biggest thing, to the littlest thing. We make decisions together. We talk about it. We discuss it. And we don't agree on everything. No, we don't argue, fuss, and fight. But it could be something she could be like, sis, I think that this and this and this. And I'd be like, well, I don't really agree with that. I think this, this, and that. And she's like, you know what? Okay. Or I might propose something. And she's like, well, no, because I don't blah, blah, blah. And it's okay. We're two adults. And we could disagree. And then we come to, you know what I mean? To what makes it better for the both of us. And our channel is growing. And so far, it's doing well. We got videos, we got shorts. We did one live so far. We still have our personal channel. You know what I mean? So our consistency, because we have things outside of Millennial Mudbangers, is just once a week. That's okay for us. If you feel like once a week is okay for you, then do it once a week. Twice a week, three times a week. If you feel like every day. It's good for you. Let me just say this and then I'm going to get off this everyday thing. The only reason I feel like every day, for me personally, I listen to that and I, and I try to hold to that. Because once, if you're not fully monetized within that year, you lose hours every day. So it's so much harder to get monetized after that year because you're losing hours every single day. Because you post it every single day. So once you understand how that part works, the losing hours part, after your year, then you'll understand what I mean. But that's a whole nother subject. But being consistent does matter. And then this will go into my next point. Creating your own formula. So... Yes, YouTube has an algorithm. That is very, very true, right? But they cannot create an algorithm off of just a couple of videos. The algorithm has to be created by how much you show up, how much you post, your thumbnails, how many people come look at you, how many people... I subscribe to you. This, 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 and that. You feel what I mean? So, you have to create your own formula when you first start out in this game. You can't expect to post one video and be like, oh, I'm about to go viral. You know what I mean? Like, that might happen. It happens to people. Don't get it twisted. Some people are blessed. Look. Uh... With, with manifest this manifestation, whatever you want to call it, that has happened to some people, but it's rare. So other ones got to put in that work, and when you put in that work, you have to create your formula. You have to know that thumbnails matter because that's what pulls people in to your channel if you don't know how to create a thumbnail you need to learn period that's the name of the game thumbnails matter catchy titles matter the shorter the title excuse me the better it is 
I just don't know how to do shorter titles. So that's one thing about me that I just don't do. But I do understand that the shorter the title, the better it is for the algorithm. I don't do short titles. I just, I don't know. I just don't. But I do understand that that's better for your algorithm. But at the beginning, these are things that you should know so you can get into the algorithm, if that makes sense. But you have to create your own formula. You have to be able to catch eyes at first. Whatever you decide you're going to do, you're going to do mukbangs, you're going to do uh, vlogs, you're going to do reviews, you're going to do, I don't know, whatever it is you do. Like for me, I don't have a niche. I don't just do one particular thing on my channel. Uh, pretty soon, I'm about to start gaming on my channel because now I got a Twitch. So, what I found out is I can bring my stuff from Twitch because I game on Twitch and go live on Twitch and then I can share it on YouTube. So, that's about to be on my channel too. So, I don't have a niche. I'm reaching out to everybody. I'm reaching out to everybody. I want all my subscribers to feel welcome on my channel if you a gaming channel feel welcome if you a mukbanging watcher feel welcome if you like my reviews feel welcome if you like vlogs feel welcome if you just like watching my lives feel welcome i'm at five thousand subscribers and when i post stuff i get views when i do lives i get way a lot of views either way i'm doing something right so I'm grateful either way. You know what I mean? After me being on YouTube for the amount of time that I'm on YouTube, I created my own formula. Now I'm doing what's best for me and my channel. You got to do it that way, especially when you fresh and new in the game. Even when you not fresh and new in the game, if it takes for you to switch it up, switch it up. If you feel like what you've been doing is 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 not working, is is lackluster. You know what I mean? Then do something different. Do something different. It might take for you to do that. It happens. You know how many content creators had to change something about their channel <coughs> to become what they are today. It could have been a small change. It could have been a big change. They hair, they attitude, they character. Because, you know, we, you know, <coughs> we are, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much the same on and off here. But, uh, it's definitely, this is just a, 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 a snippet of my life. You know what I mean? So it's some stuff y'all definitely don't see. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of things, or it's a like I said, it's you could change small things or big things. Either way, you can change the smallest thing about your channel and it can make the biggest difference. Change your hair. If you don't wear makeup, put on some makeup. If you put on makeup, take the makeup off. Make another time. Make another type of video. Do shorts if you never do shorts. Do a live if you never did a live. I encourage people to do lives. It changed my whole channel. Period. Before the short shove came into effect, I was doing lives. And it changed my channel. Um... Okay, doing shorts with trending sounds. If you do shorts with trending sounds, you find out what the trending sound is, and you do a short. It works. That's the difference between your short getting 10, 15, maybe 100, couple hundred views, to getting thousands. 
how y'all probably gonna look at my shorts like you and your shorts don't have a bunch of trending sounds. My formula for my shorts is a little different. I try to do stuff that I feel is catchy for VPG's world. So that's why I was saying, I really come up with my own formula for stuff. I don't necessarily use that method for shorts. I use my own method. A lot of times, like this is my method for shorts. Y'all only see this much of my body because this is all I really show on my videos. So nine times out of 10, when I do a short where I show my whole body, for whatever reason, I get a lot of views. People want to see my whole body, my little, my little 411 little fat self. People want to see it. I be cute. I'm a little dress on, I'm a little jewelry, my little my hair be cute or whatever. People want to see it. My last short I, I posted on Mother's Day. All I said was, Happy Mother's Day from V Peaches World. I have an orange dress on, my little orange headband. I was looking cute. I got almost 9,000 views. I don't usually post stuff like that. That's my formula. Try it out. It might work for you. If you always showing your whole body, do a video in the car. You know what I mean? Like, do it live in the car. Do it short in the car. Do the total opposite of what you usually do. It works. Uh, next. FYI, a lot of people feel like lives is what got me monetized. Absolutely not. What got me monetized was long form videos. If y'all look at when I started, all I did was long form. I rarely did lives. Now what got me to the finish line was lives. Because that's what got me those last little bit of hours that I needed. So it, it was able to bump my hours up because like I said, once you get past that year and if you posted videos every day, you lose hours every day. That's how it works. You got any questions? Talk to uh, Make This Go Viral LLC Miss V. Become a member. She can help you with all that. Or ask Google support. That's how it works. So for me, once I wasn't posting as many videos, FYI, the reason why I stopped posting so many videos is because I didn't have no more room on my phone. So I didn't have this 15. I had my 13. And I had some issues with like YouTube was taking up a whole lot of space on my phone. And it was I had some issues. I had some problems. And I couldn't get no more space on my phone. So I'm like, man, what am I going to do? So... Before the short shelf came up. So basically what I used to do. Was like I'm doing now. I would. Record a video. When I went to work. Which was at. 5, 6 o'clock. Right. That was what I did. Almost every day. That was my content. When I couldn't. Record videos no more. I wasn't about to give up on YouTube, so I had to figure out something else to do. What I figured out? Lives. So I had already started doing it at the same time every day because that was the time that I went to work. Right? YouTube had already noticed that. So they was putting me out there. I had started getting a little bit more views. Not nearly as much as when they started the, the short show thing. Heck, you know. But definitely, I was getting views. Started building up, right? So, I was ahead of the game when the short show thing started. 
because I had already been doing lives for, not for days, not for weeks, but for months. I had already been doing lives and I was already doing them at the same time every day. I was already doing it. I was already in the game. So, when they started to, uh, It's not good. Whew. Excuse me. I'm gonna make my stomach hurt When they had started the uh, the vertical lives, YouTube was on my side. They like, well, hey, she was already going live every day. She was already going live every day. She was already doing it at the same time. We already was sending her out and putting her into the 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 uh the, the, the algorithm and boom I blew up I blew up Man them trolls was eating my ass up too they was eating me alive so I had to give me some more um, moderators, shout out to my moderators. Um, I'm gonna have them in the description box. I can't name all my moderators, I don't want to name some and don't name them all. But, um, so I got a lot of raw ass moderators. If y'all need some moderators, the ones I got is good, you feel me? Like, good moderators. Um, but I got good moderators. Um, Basically, my moderators are how how I choose my moderators is basically my team. My they are my regulars, and then most of the time my regulars become members. And then if you're a member, I make you a moderator. It's two people that are not members that I made moderators, and those were for a specific reason. But other than that, my members are my moderators. Um. But yeah, so yeah. So anyway, long form is what got me monetized. So I don't want nobody to feel like lies is what did it. Long form is what got me monetized. And doing lies is what got me to the finish line. You know, getting those hours that I needed to get me over the hump. So do a combination of the two. And when I went to Google, it was so funny because... I remember doing lives or whatever, and I'm like, wait a minute, like, what's going on? I'm, Cause I'm steady losing hours and it was a mess and I'm frustrated. Cause I'm like, what is going on? So I went to Google support, like y'all got me messed up. Like I know how this thing works. And you know what Google support told me? You need to start doing long videos. They told me that. Like I, like I would, if I can find it, cause they, you know, every time, you talk to them, you get an email. So I'm gonna try to go to the email to find it. I'm asking them about my hours. Like, this is when I was trying to get fully monetized. I was partially monetized at this time. This is when I'm trying to get to 4,000 watch hours. And I had already had 1,000 subscribers. And I'm asking them, like, what is the problem? Why do I keep keep losing and losing and losing? I'm doing these long um, lives. And, my, and it's telling me I'm getting 100 hours, 80 hours, this and that. And it should be building and building and building. So you're not about to tell me that I'm losing more than 80 and 100 hours a day. Like, come on, you two, you play with me. So when I hit them up, they like, you need to do some long videos. They ain't nothing about shorts. They ain't nothing about that. You need to do some long videos. So you know what I did? I listened. And I started doing long. By this time, I had figured out what was going on with my phone. It was YouTube was taking up a whole lot of space on my phone. I had to completely delete YouTube off my phone and then re-download it. Boom. It took off a lot of space on my phone. However, I don't know why it did that. But I guess over the time I had it on there, it took up so much space on my phone. I deleted it, re-downloaded it, boom. It, it fixed whatever was broken or whatever. Um, and then I had space. So, yeah. Um, enough of that. Support others. You can't come onto this app and not support other people. Share other people out. 
Look at people's videos. Put them in your description box. Uh, comment on their videos. You know what I mean? Stop, stop being a hater. Stop being that person that just feel like everybody should look at you. No, you have to support other people. YouTube is about support. When you see another small YouTuber that's smarter than you, show them love. Share them out. Tell people about them. I be on the search for smaller channels. Because I want to help them. Because I was smaller once. I'm still a small channel. But I was smaller once. And I got that push. People helped me. People told people to subscribe to me. So support others, period. It ain't much to say about that. Support others if you want to be supported. Support others if you don't want to be supported. Just support others. That's the name of the game, period. Um, I already talked about going live. You already know how I do. Go, if you can, go live at the same time daily. Pick a time, go at the same time daily. It helps. I can't express that enough. I ain't going to go off into that because... It's actually 5.06 and it's time for me to do my live and I'm late for my own live. But I'm doing this video. Go live at the same time daily. Do it, do it, do it. Period. Learn to read your analytics. Once you've done this long enough and you start having analytics and you start seeing numbers popping up and you start seeing when they say people looking at your video and what time of day and what days of the week and all of this. Learn to read your analytics. If you don't understand... Go to somebody else who understands. Go to Google support. Google support is your best friend. Early in the game, in the middle of the game, late in the game, I still go to Google support and ask them questions. Because I need to know. What's this? What's that? I don't understand. What's that? What this mean? Because last time I looked at it, it said this. And then this week, and this is wait a minute because i know i got views and then hold on wait because last time it said this and then this is and when i looked at my thing when it's okay i was supposed to get this check i was supposed to get the money and then it said it was paying me this amount and now it's saying this amount but i don't i need what it changed overnight why what changed because i need y'all to explain yeah, you can do that. You can ask them questions. It's an open book, and I don't, I don't talk to them through email. I chat. Every time I've ever talked to them, I chat. I have never did a, uh, a, 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 a email and then waited for them to respond to me a day or two or three. I don't do that. I chat. Every time I talk to Google, I chat. Cause I want to answer today, right now. I don't want to wait two, three days for you to answer me. Um, reuse content. That is a big thing that's getting people demonetized. I'm not going to speak a lot on it because I don't know a lot about it. All I know is that it's some, it's some stuff that I deleted off of my channel because I had posted my own stuff. It was me on TikTok. It wasn't nobody else. It was me. I had posted myself on TikTok. Early on in my channel, for my channel, because I was really try I was really starting on TikTok. And then I had switched and I was like, okay, I'm going to do YouTube instead of TikTok. I ended up sticking more with, tic with YouTube. And obviously, I got monetized on YouTube before TikTok. Um... So, I got scared, and I deleted, but let me say this, <laughs> I deleted those videos after I got monetized, because you you do need to realize that all the videos you have up now goes towards your hours. So, if you delete something with a bunch of hours, it's going to take away from your time. So, that reuse content thing, you definitely need to ask. Google support about it. I always, I'm a, I'm a big supporter of Make This Go Viral LLC, Miss V. 
She's also going to be in my description box. But I'm about to end this video because it's time for me to do my um, live. Um, if y'all have any questions, you can ask me about any of this stuff. In the comments, you can ask stuff. Um, I always post my email my email is in my description box and my phone number um but so like i say some things i really don't know a lot about that reuse content i don't know a lot about that i just know that as far as how i post i ain't gonna get stuck with none of that type of stuff because i don't post other people's stuff if that makes sense so yeah but Okay, I gotta go, y'all, because I gotta do my live. But as always, be comfortable, be confident, and most importantly, be peachy. Peach out. And bye.